Hello brothers and sisters, welcome to Nets of Hope. This is Cindy. This is the very last letter from, Viv um, from Danielle's letter that the Lord gave Danielle this past week. Um, and I'm telling you, this is a long letter and it's powerful. And I really do hope that you heed the warning and that you do not pay rent, do not pay mortgage payments, um, and get out. Take your finest possessions, sell them at pawn shops, garage sales, pack up your clothing, and your bare minimums, your gold, your silver, uh, fine jewelry, anything and everything that you can pawn, uh, your Bibles, your family, your clothing, gas cans to get out of there and get to higher ground, guys. If you're on the coastline, get anywhere from 180 to 200 miles inland. Try and get into Texas uh, and hang out there and wait, get jobs in local areas. But what we wanna do, guys, is band together. And Mary and Danielle, if you guys in your areas can find out motels that will have a good price that would help our brothers and sisters to relocate. If you can make videos announcements for cities that are near your town, if brothers and sisters in those areas could open up their homes or garage or even their yards as campgrounds, we need to help these brothers and sisters get to these areas and let's band together guys on getting jobs and helping these homes out with money coming in to build up the food supply, the gas supply, the water supply, paper and personal items. And then let's band together to do church uh, worship in the backyards on bells of hay and campfires and let's serve our Lord in the area and get out and let people know about these YouTube channels. Now let me read this last letter and then end these videos for now. This is video four. Again, letter was given to Danielle, Jesus in Georgia. Please go to her channel and subscribe. The Lord does give her letters um, and this is a powerful letter and it is almost everything in detail to the point. Okay, here we go. Giants and the fallen will roam in the land. Robots too, this is all a part of their plan. Will a chip be what you take or in me will you trust? Virus, plagues, death, murder, and famine, famine is too a part of their plan. See, they seek to kill to control. And if I were to say anything they seek to control and kill man new world order here we go i am the lion of the tribe of judah the 144,000 have been found and sealed without a sound prepare ye now for soon you'll see no food left cupboards and cabinets and empty shelves tell my children to get out get out now guys all my warnings have went out. If they do not heed sleeping with the fish, they will be. Again, the Lord wants you to take what money you owe for March and what house notes, uh, apartment rent, whatever you owe, take that money and get to higher ground if you're living in the coastlands or in giant large cities. You need to get to the wilderness areas these are the last warnings going out. Uh, the Lord gave me two visions yesterday morning, and they had pixels all over the front of them on the first one. The second one was really gray and smoky and fuzzy. Couldn't see a thing in it, and I just grieved. I didn't understand what was going on. And then Danielle and I spent time on the phone from 12 noon till after one o'clock in the afternoon, just praying and crying out to the Lord. He has shown me many things through that prayer and I'll share that in another video but this is it for now guys I love you I cannot stress this enough please do not pay your rent and use that money to get out now get to higher ground let's band together guys I need you Mary and Danielle and other people like Alice I need you to help find these people safe areas within the city or states of where these safe havens are going to be and let's at least get these people close to these areas um, and for my area I live in Plantersville I'm asking for anyone to please email me and I will give you my phone number so that we can chat 
and I want to have uh, homes that are available if you have an extra bedroom or a garage that you can tr turn into a dormitory and help the Lord's people. Uh, they will get jobs in your area. We'll band together, guys. We can make a church worship area in your yard with a campfire. Uh, these people can get jobs. They, many will be bringing money with them. They can help buy extra food supply and help toward the bills and personal uh, paper items and things like that. And then as the Lord gives me money, we'll already be grouped in the area so that you can come in and help with the safe havens. And um, anyway, I just praise the Lord for those of you that will open up your homes and serve the Lord right now and be the Lord's host. You are the Lord's host servants. If you open up your home and provide a bedroom, provide hot meals, and as they get here, the night or the morning or the day that they get here, provide hot meals, provide fellowship, provide love, help them to be comforted. And uh, Vivian wants to get out of New York. She really doesn't want to live in a motel room. Um, you know, she wants to be as close as she can at the safe end because none of us are sure when the lights will go out once she leaves. But she was given a dream. The Lord showed her she would be getting on an airplane. As the tsunamis come in, they're going to start filling up the airport runway with water. Vivian saw that as she ran and got on the airplane and was getting ready to take off. They were leaving behind the water rising on the earth. I can't stress enough to you guys, we are on the cutting edge of World War III and the pole ship happening because I have more information I'm gonna share with you in another video about war that the Lord helped me to understand why the two people were looking like they were tossed in a dryer. That's because it's a pole shift and it will happen during World War III. It's the Lord's way of resetting everything and giving us more of a chance to get these safe havens off the ground and running and to help with the great white harvest before the rapture. I love you. We all must band together now. Please don't pay your March rents. And if you have, I'm sorry that you have. Uh, I'm sorry I wasn't able to get these videos out, but you need to do what you can and you need to get out and as quickly as you can. Um, sell your finest possessions and get out of there. Transfer your jobs if you are working at places that you can transfer. Uh, get moving, guys, and um, do what you can do to let's band together and let's open up the homes in our community. Please send me an email with a very short message that you would like to open up your garage or your bedrooms or your yard as campgrounds. And let's do this, guys. Let's be a host servant unto our Lord and give these brothers and sisters comfort as they come from a long ways uh, to receive love and fellowship. I praise the Lord for everything that you guys are doing, and I love you.